Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to talk to you all about my favorite STEM maker growth mindset books. These books are perfect for read alouds before challenges and building activities. So check them out and I hope you get to try one of them in your classroom. So I want to let you know about some STEM books that I love to read in my classroom. Usually what I do is I read these at the start of a lesson and then I will do a STEM challenge, building challenge, following the book. So one book I really love is called The Blocks Come Out at Night. This is a great book by Javier um, Gary who talks about blocks who kind of almost like a Toy Story vibe. They come out at night, they build these awesome creations, and then the kids find it in the morning. And the kids end up building with the blocks and it's awesome because this book also goes into some uh, technical terms about building and it talks about going to France and some places there. So it's a really great book all around. Another fun book is called Be a Maker. Um, this book is by Katie Howes. And this book is all about building and using your imagination and making and being really creative. So great book for any kind of lesson. Sophia Sparks is a really fun book about a girl, Sophia, who is super creative and she thinks that she needs her bow right here to build, but she finds out that it all comes from within her and she really doesn't need anything but her own mind. So great, inspiring book. Rosie Revere Engineer is another classic and this book is about a little girl Rosie who loves building. She gets a little bit discouraged because her ideas are not working and some things cannot get put the way she wants, but she realizes that she cannot give up and she keeps on trying. So again, this is a great book and this is by Andrea Beatty who writes a few awesome um, STEM and inventor themed books. Izzy Gizmo is written by Pip Jones and this book is a fun book about a girl who has a free spirit and just loves building anything. She has this bird here who has trouble with his wings and she comes up with some inventions to help this bird. So it's a great motivational book about being creative and building. Iggy Peck Architect, another classic book for building and great projects. And this book is again written by Andrea Beattie and it is about this boy named Iggy who loves building. His teacher though shuts down his ideas, not good, but he doesn't give up and when she really needs his help, his building skills come through and then she realizes that building is actually very important and using your imagination and creativity is good. So a great one with this book, I'll, I'll have my students build their own bridges. So it kind of goes along with that theme. My STEM Brain is a new book written by Sherry Lebron. And this is a great book all about STEM. It goes over the components of STEM, the design process, types of jobs that have to do with STEM. So it's a really creative book. It's a perfect intro, especially if you are new to incorporating STEM in your classroom or you have younger grades. This is a perfect, just general, all around, great read allowed to start off. The Crayon Man is a fun book, a little bit of a twist, but this book is all about how crayons were invented, Crayola crayons. So I love it because the students can hear all about designs and this is good for growth mindset because they're never giving up um, and you can see how they're invented and students can build a crayon box. If you're interested in using this book, I have a free STEM challenge. You can click on the link below to grab that for your class and you can have your students create their own crayon boxes and learn all about Crayola. So really fun and interesting book. 
And then this book, last but not least, is called What Do You Do With a Chance? There are a few in this series. They are written by Kobe Amanda. There is What to Do with a Problem, What to Do an idea, with an Idea, and I love all of them because it's a great just thinking and growth mindset, getting your students to realize that they should embrace their ideas if they have a problem, if they have a chance to do something good, to go for it. And you can really do a lot with these lessons. Um, I have some STEM challenges and lessons based off these as well but they're great read aloud for your class, so check out the entire series. I hope you try one of these books in your classroom. If you're looking for any lessons, you can check the link out below. I hope that these books help kick you off for some great STEM challenges. Um, please let me know if you try them and you read them in your class. I would love to hear. You can jot a comment down below. See you soon.